Hello, hello, party people. This is going to be a quick video. Um, I hope. Uh, people who don't even care about basketball are talking about this. My mouth is a little blue, or a lot blue, from this uh, drink I've been drinking, so I apologize for the, the interesting colors in my mouth. Um, so Draymond Green, as everyone knows, on the Warriors, punched his teammate Jordan Poole on the Warriors during practice, and an important thing to remember is that the video was leaked from the practice facility. A lot of some people, rather, um, have d suggested firing the entire camera camera team, the entire media team, uh, because one of your people in a championship organization basically set set this all up to burn like a dumpster fire. Two important things were mentioned to me: one about Kobe Bryant, and one about Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant punched a teammate. Okay. There was a video of it, you know, back then. Michael Jordan punched a teammate. There's no video about it back then. So, it's okay if Kobe and Jordan punch a teammate, but Draymond Green is not allowed to. Because shit like this, people don't realize this is relatively common, maybe not a punch, but maybe some shoving, some of get in each other's faces. This is normal. This happens in the NBA all the time on different teams, and like, you just don't hear about it, because no one does stupid shit like leaking shit. And the leak only deepened the pockets of that one camera person. And look at the fire that all this has started. All this bad publicity. I. It. I. 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 I don't know how to respond to this. Like. Now everyone is making a big deal about this. All these, you know, fake third party. Sometimes in the foreign country, uh, in foreign languages, um, they're saying, "Oh, Draymond's gonna go to Lakers." Um, because this happened recently when Draymond was asking for a max extension and I do not believe he got it so that didn't look good Jordan Poole is 23 years old and he's already an NBA champion he wasn't on Curry level but he played a significantly positive role in the championship run I mean, you know, his emergence as a star. Um, but I will admit, he already has a relatively impressive reputation for being 23 and on the Golden State Warriors of all teams. And that's another thing that makes this more volatile. This didn't happen on Chicago Wolves. This didn't happen on the Minnesota Timberwolves. This didn't even happen on the Clippers. The Knicks, the Brooklyn Nets, this is sh that we know of, this has not happened. But now we know that this has happened on the cha defending championship team. So it, it's it's a bad look. And okay, wait. supposedly i was listening to Mike, michael rapaport's uh, reaction to this whole thing and um i don't know how maybe has insider information so another thing that should not be leaked um supposedly i don't know who who started it but draymond and, and jordan Poole were exchanging insults to to each other and i i assume something was said that crossed the line and that's when Draymond got in Jordan Poole's face. And when Jordan Poole pushed Draymond back, the point is Jordan Poole's hands were down. He wasn't ready to get in a fight and he wasn't expecting to be punched. That's why some people are calling this a sucker punch thing. Would it have been different if Jordan and Draymond swung at each other? Of course. 
is it a problem that Draymond is about 30, 40 pounds heavier with whether you want to call it muscle or not? He's a bigger dude than Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole's like a fucking baby compared to Draymond. So it's just like... So Michael Rappaport said like all these names were... Every bad name in a dictionary in the book was being thrown around. It would be different if Draymond hit another power forward who was the same stature, build, and weight weight class as him. Jordan Poole is a skinny, smaller dude. And more importantly, he's a teammate. But again, maybe not on this level, especially with all the leaked information. But let's pretend that information was not leaked, right? Now... What what is what does that mean in terms of like this wouldn't have been publicized. This Draymond would still be releasing an apology if the video was not sent and this was rumored to have been happened. But this kind of stuff is supposed to be taken taken care of internally. And it's been said by the GM of the Warriors, I think his name is Bob Myers. Draymond's not gonna miss any games because of this. Even when it's a coach, Steve Kerr, who got punched by Jordan, he even responded that, like, this this is not, like, an earth-shattering event. This happens in basketball. This happens on team. Because when you're a team, you're like family. Do families argue? Of course they do. So, it's just that the video made it look so bad. And like supposedly at one point Jordan Poole was in concussion protocols. Today I saw a video of him just shooting around, so he's most likely he's okay, which is you know the most important thing. And Jaymon apologized to the Warriors, to Jordan Poole, and uh, I heard him say he apologized to Poole's family, and he knows he did he did something wrong. He wasn't expecting it to be on this level. It, this should not be on the current level. And like finally talks about it are starting to die down. Okay, here's what's going to happen, right? People are going to say, oh, Draymond and Kevin Durant, KD, they got into an argument. That's why KD left the Warriors. Regardless of why he left, it's, it's irrelevant. There's nothing you can do to change that. Now, Jordan Poole's contract is up, I believe, next season. So, if he leaves, people are going to say it was because of the altercation between Draymond and him. And, like, KD even said, he's human. Of course, everything that Draymond got in his face about affected him. Because he's human. He he doesn't have a bulletproof state of mind, especially KD, who takes a lot of things very sensitively. But as far as I know, Jordan Poole's not like that. His personality just speaks like he's just a 23-year-old kid. And this this grown-ass, heavier-ass man comes up to him and sucker punches him in his fucking eye. So hard enough that they thought he would have to go to concussion protocols I'm done I'm I'm done I'm done Um, just remember that even when Steve Kerr got punched by Jordan he won how many rings as a player and how many rings does he have now as a coach so being a coach who endured that don't you think he has some insight to give Draymond and Jordan Poole why is nobody talking about that? Nobody's talking about Steve Kerr's going to be able to patch this up. I, I believe he will. I'm unsure whether Jordan Poole will stay the following season when his, when his contract is up. It depends on the extension or new contract they offer. But I will admit, it is, I think it's very reasonable to say it's very debatable whether Jordan Poole will stay or not. Um, if he doesn't, that will be, he will be missed, but the NBA season still goes on. Um, if this was on 
a team that didn't even make the playoffs. Nobody would care. It's just that it was a championship Golden State Warriors. Oh my God, there's trouble in paradise. All right, guys. That's it. That's it. Take care of yourselves and each other.